Welcome to this episode of the Hung Down Adventure YouTube channel. Today, we're building a holster for a Smith & Wesson Model 27-2. Let's get to it. So first things first, we're going to grab a piece of paper. We're going to take it. Well, now it's unloaded, of course. We're going to take this piece of paper. And we're going to trace out the gun. And now I've already done that. Uh, just in interest of time. Uh, trace it out, and you flip it over, trace out the other side. That's what I did here. And then, I went through and got rid of any, like, sharp angles or edges. And then that left me with this. And then I added a little bit of room on the outside and made sure when I if I had the pistol in here, it would be able to fit around it, which that's pretty important. Okay, so now we have this. And then I had to find a piece of leather. And for this, I'm using a piece of bison hide. I just have this little scrap of it. And so I went through and traced out this the holster part itself and then i down here i made a little bit of a welt to go and cut that out separately to then put in here and then i made me designed me up a little belt loop okay so now that we got all that out the way we're going to cut out the holster Okay, so we have everything cut out now, and I went ahead and trimmed it up, and now I'm going to take this little edging tool and go around the whole edge. Okay, so I got the whole thing edged, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the weld in. Take some super glue. Okay, then I'll take the welt. Mash it down in there pretty good. Okay, so now that we have the uh, welt glued in, we're going to go ahead and mark out where we want to put our belt loop, which I'm thinking about right there. Okay, traced out with the pencil. We're going to take some glue. I'm just gonna put a little bit out. I'm gonna go ahead and oil the inside of this sheath. Okay, so I have the belt loop sewed on. Uh, now all that's left is to glue this other side. In. Uh, I ran out of regular super glue, so I have to get this super glue that's well, it's still pretty super. It just dries slower. So I have the sheath all glued up. And I went ahead and wetted it. Wetted it? I guess so. Uh, and most of the time I'd wrap it in saran wrap. But this time I tried a trash bag. I'd wet form the gun to the holster before I do the final sewing. Okay, so we have it all wet formed. Uh, it's dried. What we're now going to do is run that stitch line after we clean it up the edge a little bit. Then we'll run the stitch line and then we'll do the final touches and then we'll be done. Okay, we're going to take this edger here and I'm going to actually use it to trim this welt down. Okay, we're going to go punch it out now. Okay, so we have it all stitched up. 
uh, singed in a couple places. Uh, now I gotta come here on this edge and trim it up because it's not looking too good. Okay, now we're going to grab our burnisher. Okay, so we got it all old and it's darkening now. Um, we're going to put the gun in. That way, as this old dries, it continues to form. And I'm flapping this up here to create an easier way to put the gun in the hole. Take it with my fingers and work in them. There at the cylinder. And... Okay. You know, that holster looks pretty good right there on that, with that gun in it. With that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Hunting Down Adventure YouTube channel. You know, this is going to be the last video you see this tree standing in. Catch you guys next.